We have three VR headsets we're going to talk about today, the newly revealed Valve Index, which was teased a little bit a couple weeks ago, as well as the Oculus Rift S and the Quest, which you can now pre-order today. And then we'll talk about dates, price, and some specs for all three of them, for all three virtual reality headsets. So let's just jump into it. We'll start off with the Valve Index. If you know Valve, you probably play Steam and games. So this is a pretty interesting headset. You can see some cameras on the front, which we'll talk a little bit more about, but there's now inside tracking, inside outside tracking. But basically we'll just jump into specs for this one. So we get to see, these are the two Oculus headsets, the Quest and the Rift S. You also see some cameras on them. But the specs for this headset, the Valve Index, uh, fidelity first, so visual quality, audio, ergonomics, and everything is pretty high end from Valve's headset. First up, we get a resolution of 1440 by 1600 RGB. This is an LCD panel, so previously we're seeing some more OLED uh, style panels being uh, the king, but now we're seeing some 50% more subpixels than OLED. So this LCD panel is uh, greater sharpness for the same rendering cost. And something else that is special about this is the fill factor is three times better than OLED, uh, so greatly reducing screen door effect. So those are some good uh, benefits. OLED usually has darker blacks, the pixels can actually turn off, uh, but you'll technically get some bleed through some from the other light pixels. But uh, aside from that, LCDs uh, have some other benefits. So we'll see which one wins at the end of the VR race. Uh, with all the headsets coming out. Uh, something else special about the Valve Index is the 120 hertz. So most headsets are shooting for 90 hertz. Uh, some of the headsets are a little bit below that. Some are at like 80 hertz. This is a uh, refresh rate for the actual panel, uh, which matches with frame rate and everything. So there's also a 144 hertz mode. So this is experimental. So if you're into some uh, FPS games, you'll definitely want higher hertz, higher FPS. So you'll get some better reaction time uh, when fighting other people or just uh, inside monsters and everything. So that is good to see that. Uh, that's a pretty good benefit. And the other third big thing with the panel is the extreme low persistence. So this is a 0 0.330 MS. So this is frame rate dependent. Uh, this is a 5x improvement over first gen PC VR headsets. So we get a good explanation of this as well as a bunch of hands-on uh, stuff from a road to VR. So persistence is how low, how long a pixel remains lit. And in a VR, lower is obviously better because illuminating pixels for less time reduce a blur uh, during head, head movement. So when you're moving uh, pixels, two to three uh, pixels over can uh, technically uh, like kind of smudge blur a little bit into it. So 0 0.33 is five times better than the Vive which was at 1.85 milliseconds. So you won't ever really see this. Maybe fast head movements or you're turning to see something. You might notice a little bit, but uh, this is, uh, you won't, you'll notice way less if you could notice in the first place with the Valve Index headset. So pretty cool uh, screen stuff going on here. And then there's a couple other things like optimized for field of view. So the FOV is 20 degrees more than the HTC Vive, which the HTC Vive's vertical uh, field of view is 110. So a little bit more on the peripheral, the sides of your screen. So you will see more. Uh, some of the original first gens were a little bit more narrow and you couldn't really explore with your eyes. So that was a little bit uh, not great, but they're getting bigger and bigger field of view. So that's good. Dual element lens, so that's this is some uh, headset maximized field of view without sacrificing edge to edge. And a canted optics, so five degrees cantedness, so improves outer FOV, so that is good as well. And what else do we have with this? There were some IPD adjustments you could change as well as uh, the distance to your eye as well. So that is some good benefits of the Valve Index. Some of the uh, Oculus ones aren't doing that anymore. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we go in the comparison. And best in class audio. So the audio is something else that's pretty interesting. The actual ear phones aren't actually touching your ears, they rest just off. So it's actually like sound is hitting your ear and coming from outside versus it's actually touching your ears and more of a sound from inside your head technically is how they describe it. 
So off-ear immersion, uh, some other interesting hands-on Road to VR, they actually test some of this. So these aren't uh, headphone drivers, they're speaker drivers. So we're going to get some loud uh, volume from them and a ton of bass is what they mentioned specifically when they were uh, playing with it hands-on. So uh, they also mentioned highest quality out of all the VR headsets. So that's a very good uh, thing. So that's pretty good uh, unless you have a lot of outside noise and then you'll be getting that obviously coming in. I believe you could probably detach them and there's probably a microphone jack so you could just use earbuds if you want to get rid of all the outside noise. But that's still interesting audio from uh, the valve index so that's pretty good what else do we have here's some of the ipd adjustments they talk about as you can you can change the uh, masks and everything the foam so quick swap face pad so that's good and one of the other interesting things is these two cameras are on the front they are rgb cameras uh, they are not used for inside outside tracking you will need uh, base stations in the corners of your room uh, to track you uh, these are just for like testing uh, experimental stuff uh, developers will be able to do some um, viewing from inside you'll be able to change that potentially as well as other changes they weren't i believe it, someone mentioned or they mentioned they weren't ready to do the inside outside tracking so they just did base stations so something along those lines so a lot of really good cool stuff from the valve index headset and next up we have some pricing and some comparisons versus the oculus so the oculus has two headsets that are coming out and they are coming out may 21st whereas the index is coming out i believe june 28th so you can pre-order the two oculus today as well as the index tomorrow which i guess leads us into some pricing and comparison for spec wise we forgot to mention so the oculus quest so that is the headset that has inside outside tracking so it has the cameras right here so you won't need base stations and this is going to be a 1440 by 1600 pixel resolution that's the same as the index and then the oculus rift s has a little bit lower resolution 2840 2880 by 1440 so just a slightly reduction in um, resolution for the actual screen and this is going to act, actually the rift s connect to your pc as well as the index is going to connect to your pc the quest is special because uh, you'll be able to com be completely free no wires connected i believe two and a half hours of battery two to two and a half hours of battery so that is pretty good so cool inside outside tracking from oculus you won't need to set up base stations to your house whereas the valve index you will need base stations so those are the main differences with base station and resolutions. And then we get into the refresh rate. Again, we mentioned that the valve is going to have the highest refresh rate, 120 or 144 Hertz. So that's really good for FPS, first person shooters or really fast style games, maybe a racing game that could be beneficial. Whereas the Quest has a 72 Hertz and the Rift S has a 80 Hertz. And something else we didn't mention was the Quest is a OLED panel versus the Valve Index LCD. So uh, benefits for both blacks for the OLED and then the index is uh, saying that 50% more uh, sharpness and everything with the different uh, aspects of LCD with their panels. So that is pretty big differences, which I guess pricing is really the last thing we can kind of mention. The Valve Index, the whole package for the uh, the headset, the controllers, and the base stations, which you will obviously need, which are backwards compatible with the uh, 1.0 base stations as well as 2.0, is $1,000. So if you're not too worried about price and you just want the best possible experience, you'll get the um, uh, a little bit more RGB LCD panel with the Valve Index, some higher hertz panel, uh, or you can go with a little bit uh, cheaper package you can just get the headset so you have base stations or controllers already you don't want the knuckles controllers which is the index controllers and that is going to be 750 for your headset and controllers or you can do i think 150 per base station this is a single base station this is i believe the 2.0 does it say valve index base index so i believe 2.0 and then the controllers are both controllers for 280 or headset for 500. And again, ships June 28th for the Valve Index, whereas the Oculus, which were uh, dates were released today and you can pre-order today for these two Oculus headsets, is coming out May 21st. So uh, about a month or so for, and then, then two, two or three months for the Index. So a lot of really cool three VR headsets coming to crash into the VR competitive scene. But there's, there's a lot of headsets going on. The, 
standalone headsets, connected headsets, uh, all the inside outside tracking, some really cool stuff going on here. And what else can we talk about? Uh, there is a couple uh, PC specs I believe we forgot to mention. Let's see if this is on here. Requires valve index. Um, thought we had some specs. I believe it was right here. Windows 10, Steam OS, Linux, 8 gigs of RAM, and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 or RX 480 plus or dual core CPU. Uh, so pretty low specs. You're not quite gonna get like the max 120 uh, refresh rate or anything like that with low end specs unless you're playing a really low end game. So a lot of VR games are pretty intense. You want some good uh, PC performance for that. And I believe some recommended specs were a GTX 1070. So you'll definitely want to be getting some a uh, little bit more performance graphics card to power the Valve Index headset. Uh, that is uh, this headset right here. So pretty cool there. And I guess there's two other quick little mentions we can talk about for Valve and VR games. So Valve to launch a flagship VR game later this year. So that is pretty cool. Uh, we don't really get too many details of Half-Life 1, 2, 3. We're not sure. Uh, that could be pretty good. Apparently there's supposed to be three VR games. So that could be Half-Life 1, 2, and 3. But one of them is coming this year. It looks like it was mentioned. So uh, Valve flagship VR game coming. I think we get a little picture somewhere. There was a picture somewhere. It was still like some like VR uh, robot hands, I believe. Uh, I can't believe I lost that picture, but it was somewhere cool. So that would be good for the Knuckles controllers, the index controllers. So that is pretty good. And one other little, uh, we have Lulu saying VR, thanks for the info. So you seem to love some VR headsets. But the last little VR news is about the Quest. We get some confirmed titles. So the Oculus Quest is the standalone headset, no wires connected, two hours of battery life. You can just move around in your room, in your environment, because it's got the cameras. So, and its own processor and everything. And here are some of the 50 plus Oculus Quest launch titles. So. The pricing for the Quest was $400, I believe the 64 gig version, or 500 for the 128 gig version. So you'll be storing games on there because you'll be walking around, it's not connected to your computer. So here are a bunch of the games, uh, some Apex Constructs, uh, Beat Saber, so a lot of the good titles, a lot of good titles going on there. Uh, First Contact. Drop Dead, Dual Strike, Dead and Buried 2. Some cool games going on there. So a bunch of the games uh, will be on the Quest. So pretty good. And that's pretty much the three headsets. So Valve Index coming June 28th. You can pre-order that starting tomorrow. And then the two Oculus headsets, the Rift S, which connects to your PC and the Quest, which you can walk around again. And that is coming May 21st, which you can pre-order today. $400 for the Rift S, the Quest, and then the Quest's a little bit higher storage and $500 versus the $1,000 combo kit of the Valve Index. So a lot of cool stuff going on here for VR headsets and enthusiasts, a lot of good stuff. So with that, I guess we can say hi to DFG Ludo. Hey, and hopefully you like some VR content. But with that, we will be ending and have another episode tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific with some more tech in game news. So we will be signing out. Pew, 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 pew. 